we've wanted to show for a little while what some tips and ideas, suggestions on how to use the solar cookers a little more effectively in the winter time when the sun's not quite as high and the days aren't near as long. In the past, I've usually taken my hot pot and put it away about this time of the year because the sun gets so low that I'm not able to get the sun's rays to come in and reflect properly in with the panel here. And in fact, unless I tilt my panels like this, it's hard for the sun's rays to come in straight. For one, you've got this blocking. The sun's rays just aren't up straight up and down and don't reflect onto the pot as efficiently as they should. So I would always in the past put some uh, something underneath the, p the panel here and I do that still during the day to give it a little more of an angle but the more you do that as you can see your pot starts to tip and lean as well and so if you've got soup or something in there your juices will run out. You start you want more of an angle on your panels so we discovered a little trick here that will allow for one to take advantage of the lower sun's rays by placing the hot pot panels on their side and using something that can be a box or a wall doesn't matter, something behind it to support that panel so it doesn't collapse on itself. Then you're able to lay your hot pot on the bottom panel where the side panel which is now the on the ground. That allows the sun's rays to come in at a more direct angle. So we use this quite often when we're starting early in the morning, even in the summer, but especially in the winter, late season, late fall when the sun's rays are on quite a bit low angle. As the day progresses then you can flip it back upright to its regular position.